What is up, producer gang? We're back in the new year, and today we're gonna be testing out this new compressor from Kit Plugins called the Core Compressor. So I'm excited to test this guy out to see if it'll be like a good tool in my kit. Alrighty, so yeah, here's what the plugin looks like. Let me fix that. It's resizable, which is obviously nice. You can uh, click and drag it and make it a bit bigger. But as far as I know, I think I'm pretty sure it's a three to one plugin, which is the compression ratio. Um, so you can't adjust, you can't adjust the compression ratio. Uh, so it's, yeah, I think it's because of that, it's designed to be more of a slap it on, create your settings and benefit from all the effects sort of plugin. But yeah, you got threshold, uh, so input threshold body, which adds a little bit of thump to some lower frequencies. I'll show you guys in a minute. Um, obviously your attack, your release and your mix knob, and then you have your output gain um, for adjustments and then the crush button, which does exactly what it says, um, basically fully crushes it into a limiter. Um, so let's have a look. I'll just pull up a, we'll just do some drums first and then we'll do, I'll throw it on some tracks or ideas I've been working on. So yeah, let's just toss that in there. Just the attack, make it a bit snappier. So obviously you can tell that I've added some girth here. Um, let's see if I can just match the output. You can hear that additional compression. Um, let's try a bit less. I always like driving my samples into compressors a little bit just to actually make sure that they're working. So input gain, just to make sure it's actually going into the compressor uh, fully and doing something. Well, you can hear it compressing the entire sample and bringing out the tail and everything. So far on a previously made snare that's already been compressed, um, it adds a bit of beef, but on this one particularly, it might not have been the best example. Let's try something else. So yeah, really bring out that, that tail. You can see that sound as a whole coming up. Let's uh, look at the waveform here. Well, that's freaking weird. So that's my snare with the compressor, and that's with it turned off. So just some weird things happening there. That's so weird that it's um, cutting the wave waveform like that. <laughs> Let's give it some reasonable settings like uh, 29, maybe something in there. Relatively slow release, fully mixed, zero body. And we'll drive it in, give it some output gain. Maybe a bit of body. Okay. And now let's turn it off. Yeah, my original sample sounds a bit snappier already and the waveform just looks better. So that's weird. Let's try this on something else and let's throw it on a few things. So this is a beat here. Chuck that on the master. Form. 
definitely tightened up a lot of the things I had going on. Um, obviously, it's what it's meant to do on, on these certain settings. Uh, but let's just have a look at maybe the drums on their own. Let's see if it's still doing that weird thing where it's cutting down my waveform so without. Yep. So we're obviously achieving significant compression as we should. Let's give it some attack, delayed attack. Win back some of those transients. Body. All right, let's try that again. Let's just stack it up against Fruity Compressor here. So let's let's A, B in this. So right now we have Core Compressor on, Fruity Compressor off, and I'll switch in and out. Fruity. Let's just see what it does if we just crush this a little bit. The fruity compressors almost sounds cleaner in this instance, so let's try this on everything. Okay. It's got its own characteristics, like it sounds a bit beefier, um, but at, at the compromise of clarity almost. So um, that's what I'm finding right now, which is super interesting. But let's give this a run on something else as well. New track. We got some guitars. So this is the sample on its own. With core compressor. With fruity compressor. Now let it play out with core compressor. That's so odd. It, it almost sounds like there's, if you're wearing headphones, it's bringing in a bit of crackling and some distortion um, with the same settings. Uh, so let's just throw on an exoscope and see what's going on here. I've actually used it on this track. glued the track together so nicely here.
also using the kit, the BBN 105 here as well. <laughs> so. Applied in the right way um, is definitely cleaning up that kick drum in this song. Um, but yeah, overall, just based on what we looked at here, I think uh, this core compressor, good tool to have uh, if you apply it correctly. Probably just like any other tool or any other compressor. Did it have any crazy, incredible uh, benefits that like I can't find in another compressor? Maybe not, like we just tested in the FL uh, compressor. But overall, I'd say it's uh, a good compressor based off what I used. I've used it in this track, it cleaned up my track, can't complain there. Um, the interface is super easy. It's really nice to, um, to just have a couple knobs that you turn and twist and off you go and, and um, you, you don't have to worry about it too much. So final thing I'll say, are there a crap ton of compressors out there? Yes. Do you need the core compressor in your arsenal? No. Uh, would it be nice to have in your arsenal? Yes. Does it sound uh, like anything unique or special that you can't get anywhere else? No. Does it sound good? Yes. So, um, all in all, I think if you want to play with um, the tone and the sound of this compressor, go grab it. Uh, but if you're short on cash and you like what you're using, I wouldn't say this is something that was is going to be a game changer, much like any other compressor. And that's not to say that Kit didn't make a good compressor. I think that they did, but this is my honest review from what I've tried it on and what I've done, and I'll keep testing it. Um, but I can say that I, I, from my previous video, the Kit BBN N105 V2 plugin, I think that one is fantastic. I do use, I started using that quite a bit. Um, but yeah, the core compressor, uh, you know what? I'll give it a solid seven. 7.5 out of 10 um, and that's my final verdict so I hope you guys enjoyed this video and you learned something here today uh, if I missed anything or if you think that you have anything to add on this core compressor or if you just want to say hey great job or if you want to say this sucks drop a comment anything you want to say really helps out and uh, lets me know if I'm going in the right direction or not for you guys all right so take care everybody have a good day Mick out